All right, guys. So, uh, gonna do a little inventory video, um, inspired by Joe's Premium Firewood. I don't know if you guys watch him, but uh, he's a pretty cool guy. Joe, if you're watching this, you inspire me for this. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna do a little walk around and show you what I got going on right now. So, so uh, this is pretty much what I got. Just at this yard. Uh, I still got a little bit in my backyard, maybe five cords of maple and um, a couple cords of real season wood. But uh, he just brought this load in. This was one load and I cut some off this already, this pile. So you could see what he's bringing me. And it's nice wood. It's all super splitter size, except for uh, like that log. That whole log needs to be broken up with a timber wolf. But uh, he's bringing me pine for free. This was a load of pine he brought me. Uh, we worked up. Some of this stuff is pretty big that he's bringing me, like that. But uh, it'll get broken up by the timber wolf, the same as everything else. So he's working on some uh, timber wolf chunks right now. Big, uh, big giant pile. This is mostly oak. A lot of dead wood in here too, so it's not too bad. Some of it's a little rougher, like you see pieces like that. But uh, I'll usually leave it in if it's not too bad. When it's nice and uh, dead like that, it'll burn good. But this is a pretty good pile of wood. I don't know if you guys can get uh, an idea of how big it is. It's like eight foot tall, so. Um, another pile of oak. This is a uh, load he brought me in for free because it has that in it. And I cut all the easy stuff out of it. Uh, we're going to try to work the rest of this up today. Um, I just got to be careful because there's a couple pieces with the mesh in it. But uh, some of it's fine. Like this is all fine. So I'm going to work that up next with the timber wolf. There's a big chunk of cherry back here. But this is again mostly oak. Um, a lot of dead stuff in here too. Mixed throughout. This is a bunch of cherry. This was a, a load he brought me of cherry. So I'm probably gonna try to sell that separately as just cherry. Um, get a lot of requests for it. Cherry dries up pretty good too. Like this will this will burn pretty good as is. It's probably been split a month, month or two. But uh, pretty much everything now I got is semi-seasoned. Just it, it's that time of year now, so. <laughs> but um, like I said, this cherry should burn pretty good really. This oak and stuff can be kind of tough um, to burn when it's like this. But luckily a lot of it is dead, like I said, so they're getting a decent mix. But, oh, look, a piece of corn up there, look at that. But, um, this is some uh, just junkier pieces that we got left that uh, we're going to have to work up with a timber wolf. It's like six foot diameter. That's a big piece too. Um, some junk. Probably end up bonfire, selling for bonfire wood, this pile. Another pile of uh, big stuff that uh, we kind of split around with a super split. Got another big pile of stuff over here. This is all timber wolf food right here. Um, this, this is a good amount. I'd like to know like what I got down here wood wise. It's just kind of hard to tell when it's all loose like this, piles. And uh, Here's another pile of uh, nice cherry. Probably a couple loads, maybe a load and a half. But um, trying to get uh, the dude I've been buying loads off of. I want to get all these piles condensed. I'm splitting all this wood up, and then I want them to drop loads of logs in the voids. So I'd like to get another 20 or 30 cords down here anyway and uh, split it up, just so at least it's split for a couple months before people buy it. it, would be nice. Some of the older stuff that's been split down here is probably at least a month or two old. So I'll start selling that first as semi-seasoned. A lot of what he's bringing in too is dead. And like even this, this maple is like bone dry. It looks green, but it's literally bone dry. So, you know, it's not the worst thing ever for a semi-seasoned load, it should still burn okay. Some more 
junkier stuff. Probably have to pick through this. Yeah, it's all well, yeah, it's junky. Uh, little logs that we split off of some. There was more here for this load. Uh, that was some short stuff that I was saving, but it's really too old. I think I'm just going to end up selling that as a uh, junk too. Just get rid of it. I want to get these these this stuff on the pallets cleaned up. All this real knotty stuff I just cut with a saw. Up. When I come down by myself, I'll just make a day of cutting a bunch of crap up with a saw. Um, probably run that through the timber wolf. I don't know why I didn't. I can't really remember. This is just a little bit of uh, stuff that's left that I'm going to throw in the next load of wood and just clean it up. Um, so he could dump some more loads in here too. That other gig behind the bar is pretty much done. Um, uh, yeah, pretty much. I, I split all the nice wood out of there and I split some of the screwy wood and uh, they're starting to screw with some of the firewood themselves now. So I guess he just had a change of heart. And uh, he was saying I could still pull from it, but I just don't really like being crowded. Like they're working there too. And I'm working and it's like, I don't really want to be fighting over the same wood or anything crazy. So, but uh, this is some more uh, wood. This stuff's old. I'm gonna split it and see, you know, what it looks like. Some of this is gonna be junk for sure. Some of it might be decent, but uh, it's all in here. I'm gonna run the uh, bill skid steer through this and just clean all this, this area up. Um, this was my mistake. I left some of this stuff sit too long. And a lot of it's small like that, so it's just junk now. But uh, I just want to get this area cleaned up so you can drop more loads in here now. So, uh, here's another big pile of uh, a softwood. I mean, this butt is like five foot diameter. So this is some monster stuff. This is good for the timber wolf. But uh, he brings me these loads for free, so I'll just sell for campfire wood. Or I do move some uh, by the cord also, but it takes a while. So that's the plan with this stuff, just slowly uh, sell it. You know, if, if it don't cost me nothing, it's really not the end of the world if I sit on it for a while um, to move it, you know. It's just, it's just, uh, it's all profit, you know. So it's not costing me nothing. There's another pile of junk, bonfire wood. End up selling or keeping sometimes i'll sell this for literally like maybe a 100 bucks for a cord and i'll really load the crap out of it and uh you know i have a couple customers that call me especially in the summer mainly for this stuff you know it still burns it just looks like crap so but i burn a lot of that myself also here's uh what i got left of the apple that's real season this is probably three years old um, I had maybe five or six uh, cords of this at the beginning of the year, but uh, this is all I got left now. And it's kind of tough because it's not like, I don't even think that's half of a trailer. That's like a quarter of a trailer. Um, so it's just kind of hard to sell. I'll probably just throw that in a mixed hardwood load and get rid of it so I clean the spot up. Like I said, this is all junk. Some of this junk is even like too junky to sell as junk. <laughs> so I got to pick through it. Yeah, some of this is getting real bad, so. I think I might burn up some of this in uh, like a burn barrel down here when it gets real cold, just to keep us warm, you know, for our fingers and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I had some hickory, but I think that's in those piles. I ended up just throwing it in there because I had probably two or three cords of hickory, but I think, like I said, it's just scattered throughout in the hardwood loads now, in the hardwood pile, so. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get this place cleaned up. I gotta spread this pile of dirt that came. I don't. I have no idea where this came from. This pile of dirt. So in the summer, I'm like barely down here, and then Bill's down here and stuff. So I don't know if they dumped it or or what. So, but I'm still gonna keep an eye out for uh, some uh, you know wood I could split off site because that's always the best way to go about things. And I got some tree work to look at. Um. And like I said, I just want him to bring more, more wood in here too, because I, I want to get everything split up that I think I'm going to sell for the rest of the year, and then uh, start looking for jobs. So that way, when I get a job, I could just, um, you know, run loads out after work or whatever. So that way, I'm not disappointing anybody. But you know, to split and everything would just be too much. 
But yeah, that's about it right now, guys. Um, I was like behind at the beginning of the year. Uh, I mean, I was like constantly 10 cords backed up. Right now I got like maybe five or six loads behind. Uh, the last couple of weeks have been super warm, so I haven't really had many uh, calls. It's been nice though, get a chance to catch up on everything and uh, try to get ahead, so. But, uh, you know, I'm still working like five, four or five days a week, but it's not like super crazy days. Before I was working, you know, probably three or four days, then I had school and everything else. So it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show that around because that's something that uh, Joe's Premium Firewood does. Uh, it's kind of interesting. He focuses more on, uh, uh, you know, like rich people and real quality wood. Um, m more of my customers are like farmers and shit like that. Just people that go through a lot of wood but don't really care, you know, if it's a little, you know, like a piece got a little rod on it or something. They don't really care as long as it burns. And I'm selling it to them for a cheap price. Not cheap, but, you know, about middle of the road. So, all right, guys, till next time.